Hello and welcome back for the second part of my instructional guide in using the C64 SD device by Manosoft, which is basically an SD to IC device that can allow disk images and now tape images. Today I will be looking at the tape grabbing facility where you can um, grab the data of an original cassette such as this. I'll be to, uh, grabbing the data of this particular game, which is one of my favourites on the Commodore 16. And after that, um, I will we'll move on to the C64 and hopefully do the same with that. So, uh, let's get started then. What I'm going to do first, then, is uh, rip the data of an original Commodore 16 game, cassette. Uh, we'll do this one, Commodore 16 Tom Thumb, and transfer it into a tap file uh, which you can then play on the PC emulator such as the Ape or Plus. Uh, to do that, obviously, take the cassette, cassette out and turn this on, which means it might as well actually round, yeah. Now what you do, uh, you've got to type in a command on the computer so it will recognise that you want to rip the data from the tape into tap format. So what you do, you type open 15,8,15 Right now you've got to put an extension here, X, in this case it's XF4 that's uh, usually made uh, for the Commodore 16 plus 4 only. There's XF3 and XF4. XF4 is more for turbo loaders and over load loaders. XF3 is more for your slow loaders. Um, you can't use XF3 for the turbo load games. So we're going to do this one because this is a turbo load. And what you do now, you type in the name of the game. I'll just type Tom16 and dot tap, you've got to put dot tap at the end. So I'll class pinch marks and close 15. Oh, 15, there we go. Right, uh, you now press enter or return, I should say, and the blue light will flash, meaning to uh, what you must do then, press play on tape. And hopefully, if that's shut, it will now record it into tap format. As soon as it's finished loaded, um, you, you just stop the cassette, and that should be it. So we shall see if this works. I will attempt to play this back after this, just to show that it has worked. It really is as simple as this. It also works the same for multi long games, you just do it exactly the same way, just play it right through to the end of the cassette and press stop. With multi load games, um, if it takes another tape, then you, um, because you can't change cassettes so easily with uh, tap files easily with this device, you have to like uh, merge side 2 of a tape onto the end of side 1 of a tap file, which you can download the PC utility to do this for as you can't change tap files once the game is running. And that should be it. We'll now press stop. And the blue light will just now flash, letting you know that uh, the job's completed. And just continuously to flash like that until you reset. Right, I will just, just in case I will do a reset on the computer. 
and now we'll learn about the directory. There we go, tom16.tap. Quite a big file, 1285 bytes. Uh, right, so. We will now load uh, FB16. Oops, uh, comma eight, comma one. One. Okay, now let's see if this works. That technical setup. Right. Press enter, return I mean, keep saying enter, right, return. Okay. English cross. There we go, Tom 16, C16, It should uh, take well, the minute left now, I would say. There we go, <laughs> a perfect rip. Right, now what I want to do is do a reset, or do a reset. Okay, uh, before moving on to the next part of the video. I forgot to mention about um, what you do with the C64, uh, how you go about this on the C64. Um, it's exactly the same apart from one little difference and uh, that's in that file, uh, in the file name. Instead of XF3 or XF4 as I explained uh, for the Commodore 16 and Plus 4, it's XF1 for the C64. And it's all to do with tape frequencies uh, on different systems. And on the FIC20, it's XF2, uh, if you're for FIC20 on this. And in, uh, apart from that, in, everything is the same. You, you go through the same, exact same methods as I've shown you before. So, finally moving on to the next part of the video, the final part, and that's recording a tap file image from the S SD card back onto a blank cassette. I've all, uh, already folded it onto uh, the start of the tape, that's what you do. And you put the tape in. I will only do this on the C16 because it's the exact same method to do this on the Commodore 64 and on the FIC20. And it's a bit quicker on the C16 anyway. Uh, so what you do, and you do this for all the Commodore computers, uh, you've got to first find the game tap file you want to put back onto an original cassette. And for that you type in a different command to get to the relevant directory. CD, as in same directory, it's very similar to DOS. And we want tap files. Um, close 15. 
Right, this is going to take a while. Uh, what we do now, I might as well go back up here. We want to go into originals. Oh, perfect. Uh, directory. Whoop. Now we jump on the navigate. Uh, what one? Try B. Right. There we go. Um, and try BMX races. Okay, um, what you do now is find, uh, type in open 15,8,15, comma, this time you type XT, and it's the same on the Commodore 64 and the VIC 20, and type in BMX races dot tap. Close speech marks, column close, close 15. And now that is flashing. I'll just press record. So as soon as you press return, make sure you press record st and play straight away. That's why I folded it on the path of pink tape, because it goes into the data quite quickly. And this works exactly the same with multi loads as well. It'll just go right through to the end. And you don't need to do any more. Obviously, like with multi tap files for multi loads, uh, you have to like change the size of the tape and everything. And is that it? I think that is it. So what you do now, press stop. Reset. And we will give this a whirl. Okay, so now, load, press play on tape, this is the first time I'm actually attempting this, I've never done this before, so fingers crossed. Here we go, BMX. In a way, it's a bit like a multi lawn because there's two programs on there. First, this little menu thing. This is why I've done it. Control this one. Press space. Uh, it's like in two parts. 
So there's no, nothing more you need to do for games that load in multi parts. Nothing more you need to do. And it's the same on the Commodore 64. And exactly the same command, XT, X, with an XT extension. And there we go, success. This is actually a better uh, version than the Commodore 64 version. Oops, and the <laughs> now I've got it in the wrong port. And that was bleeding useless. We will have one more go on this. No. <laughs> I, um, I haven't, you can tell I haven't played this in years. No, well it is, I'm holding my camera as well as holding the joystick. No, well, there you have it. And that is that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, run through of the C64 SD device. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.